the last class we learnt about homology series and functional groups and so on in detail. In this class, let us learn about IUPAC nomenclature. The term IUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. This board has given us certain set of rules for naming the organic compounds. Let us learn one by one. The first rule is longest chain rule. Second rule, lowest number rule or lowest sum rule. Third rule, arrangement of prefixes. Fourth rule, lowest number to the functional group. Lowest number to the functional group. And then the fifth rule tells us the particular arrangement of the functional group. Now let us learn one by one in detail about all these rules. First rule tells us to select that chain of carbon atom in the organic compound by naming which contains more number of carbon atoms in it. This should contain, the parent should contain in it the maximum number of carbon atoms. The selected parent chain, if it contains maximum number of carbon atoms that is sufficient enough, may be linear, may be branched. So, the focus point here is for containing maximum number of carbon atoms and not for selecting the chain that it should be linear or it may be branched. And to fix the root word, this chain of carbon atom that is containing maximum number of carbon atoms in it selected and then we need to add the suffix after that by seeing whether it is saturated hydrocarbon meaning to say it's containing single covalent bond between the carbon atoms or if it is double bond or if it is triple bond. They are both unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now let us take up the example so that this rule becomes clear to you. Now let us take up an example Say for example this compound. What do we see here? Let us count the number of carbon atoms in all the possible direction. Let me just go in the linear direction. It contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is there any possibility of numbering the carbon atoms in any other way? Yes, we can count it in other way like from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we consider the linear chain, linear chain is containing 5 carbon atoms and if we were to consider the branched chain, branched chain is containing 6 carbon atoms in it. So according to this rule, we should select that chain which is containing more number of carbon atoms in it. And in this case, this branched chain is containing more number of carbon atoms. And so therefore, the root word to be fixed is hex. Because it contains 6 carbon atoms, the root word to be fixed is hex. And as you can see in the structure, it's containing only single covalent bond between the carbon atom. So the primary suffix that has to be fixed is A because it's a member of an alkane. It's a saturated aliphatic hydrocarbons. And here 
We also see in the third carbon atom, it is linked to a side chain. So therefore, the correct name of this compound would be 3-methyl-XA and not, not 4-ethyl-pentane. It's not 4-ethyl-pentane. If we were to name this as 4-ethyl-pentane, it would be the wrong name. And the correct name of this compound would be 3-methyl-hexane. Now, let us take up the rule number 2. Rule number 2 tells us, Lowest number, Lowest number should be given to the carbon atom which is carrying the side chain. This is the first part of this rule. Let me just repeat it. According to this rule, while naming the organic compound, care should be taken to give the lowest possible number to the carbon atom which is carrying the side chain. We are supposed to give numbers to the carbon atom in the carbon chain in the organic compound and giving this number is called as allocating the locants. We are supposed to allocate the locants for the carbon atoms in the chain. Now as per this rule, in the same example if you were to consider, I could have numbered this long chain in two possible ways. One is the way that I have already told you. The other possibility is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Then why did not I go earlier in the same manner? For the reason, this carbon atom is the one which is carrying the side chain. And the side chain present here is methyl. And according to this rule, we should give the lowest possible locant for the carbon atom carrying the side chain. So if we were to number it from our left, this carbon atom would be taking the number as 4. And if we were to number the same carbon atom from below, this carbon atom would be taking the number as 3. So which is the lowest number? 3 is the lowest number. So therefore, this is the lowest possible number that can be allocated. Hence, this compound was called by the name as 3-methyl-hexane and not as 4-methyl-hexane because the number 4 is more than the number 3 locant. Now let us consider one more example. Let us consider one more example so that the fact becomes clear to you all. We have a compound like this. How to apply this rule for this compound? First rule tells us select the longest chain. In this compound, 1, 2, 3, 4. We get 4 carbon atoms if I go from my left. If I were to go in this branched chain rule, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in any way that we go, we are going to get same number of carbon atoms. In such cases, we can as well go ahead and select the linear chain itself. Now the point number 2. After selecting the linear chain, then is the question of allocating the locants. How to allocate the locants? The side chain carrying carbon atom should be getting the lowest possible number. So this is our parent chain and when we number it from left, this is the carbon atom which is carrying the side chain and this carbon atom would be getting the number as 2. And if we come back in this way from our right in the linear